come back, we're going to talk about my latest add to my Spyderco collection. This one's a lot different than most of the Spydercos. So come back and let's talk about Alright guys, so I got a new knife. I got a new Spyderco at that. We're going to go over here to the workbench in just a minute, take a look at it, and we'll give you all the specs and everything. But I've always had a big um, passion for Spyderco and the blades and their design, the looks, the fit, the finish, even on their lower end knives. Um, I just have always had uh, this, you know, a f fatuation with them because they're just clean they're a good looking knife but um let's move over here to the bench and we'll put them all out on the bench and take a look at them and talk about this thing and all its coolness yeah. all right so i've got several spider co blades laying out here right now um my collection of spider co's that i have and my i know it's a small collection i don't know what you really call it a collection but this is what I have. Um, I would say my prize one's probably the paramilitary and the digital camo. And then my, uh, um, well, tenacious in all black. Um, I had one at one time that was in the stainless finish and lost it. So then when I got a new one, I got a new black one. And I think this one's the ambitious. I can't remember the, the name on it. I think it's ambitious, but it's a good little blade too. I put the lanyard on it just to give me a little more length holding it. It actually works, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, let's let's dig into the Bow River real quick. We'll pull everything out of the way. And let's slide it out of its case, out of the sheath. Um, now, my biggest downfall on the sheath, I like... The belt loop part, I wished it was a more of a dangler. Down the road, I may try to add a, a loop, another loop with another loop that'll go on the belt and make it a dangler. Uh, the reason for being is because I like a dangler. When you sit down, if you're wearing the belt on your side, or knife on your side, it pulls up and stays out of the way. So let's take a look at the blade and everything. Now, this is a Phil Williams design blade. Um, try and get this thing to focus in on the, the night. There we go. But it's a Phil Williams design. It even has the cool Spider Co. little hole in it. Now, if you're wondering, the total length on this is 8.14 inches. Blade length is 4.36 inches. Now, this is all off of their website. Um, so let's just tell you for what it is um edge length is 3.65 which is from here to the tip uh weight on it is 3.8 ounces blade thickness is 0.01 or 10 point good lord guys 0 0.10 inches 108 inches good lord i can't say it for nothing the blade the blade the handle is g10 if you're wondering about the blade steel it is the 8 cr 13 mov which is the same thing that the tenacious is and this one is i think this one's a different steel altogether i may be wrong let's see yeah it's cpm s 30 v so this is a little bit better still than this knife of course this knife's a lot more expensive too um it is a flat grind it's a leather sheath um if you're wondering who the designer is uh phil wilson is an outdoorsman a hunter uh so he kind of made that with his background in mind i think it would make an awesome camp knife um camp cutting knife or something like that if you own a tenacious i'll whip this thing out 
So you can see the tenacious right beside it. Mine's a little on the dirty side. So your handle's about the same length. Blade's a little shorter. If you look at it compared to the paramilitary, well, you know, if you put butt end to butt end, they're pretty close to the same length. This is a pretty good size knife. Um, that, that's one of the things I like about it as far as I using that one camping. I have used that one camping. I've used this one camping several times. I've never taken this one camping. This one is going to go camping. may even use it for food prep here and there, um, cutting steak, stuff like that. I love the looks of the handle, and it is a full tang, a full tang blade. Um, she's pretty damn sharp and super clean. I love the looks of it. I, I love it. I love the fact that they put the hole in the blade just like they would on their normal carry knives. Um, I like the spider on the sheath. That's why I want to try to make this a dangler. Uh, because I like the sheath so much. It's a good looking sheath. It's, you know, real leather. Uh, feels really good. Um, the knife doesn't, the blade doesn't bottom out on the, the um, inside. Matter of fact, you can feel the blade doesn't really touch much. It locks in right here, which is really good. It's tight. It's not loose in there either. Um, but I, I just, I find this, I found it and I was like, I gotta have it. Um, it's a good looking knife. I love the color combination on the blade. I mean, on the handle, you do have a lanyard hold. Might put a small lanyard on it at some point. Um, if I can try to get fancy again with paracord and put a lanyard on it. Um, cost on it. If you're wanting to grab one of these is 70 bucks retail. Now that's per spider co's website look around jungle site and all the other places you might be able to find a little bit better deal on the particular blade um but in my past with the the blade still it's using i think it'll make a good camp knife um this this thing i mean it looks like it's been beat up but it still holds its edge and so is the tenacious i mean the tenacious holds its edge no problem whatsoever um, now I've really, I mean, th this one of my knives that the original version I had, which was the satin finish blade, I carried that sucker forever. I mean, ever. Um, I never had a problem with that blade whatsoever. And up until I lost it. And once I lost it, well, she was gone. Uh, this one I customized a little bit, you know, put the lanyard on it. This is a titanium uh, belt clip. This right here, I did buy this aftermarket. And um, I just always liked this blade as far as the the steel, the, the sharpness, it stays sharp. Um, but the bearings inside this, I'm pretty sure it has, it may have ceramics, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look, I don't remember. If you know, put down at the bottom. But it flicks out so effortlessly. Um, and it's a good looking knife too. But um, I saw this and I said, I've got to find one and get one. And I did. I'll leave a link down below to the Amazon uh, link. So I'm trying to say if I can get it all out at once. I'll leave the Amazon link down below for this particular knife. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Spider Co. Bow River. Check one out. You know, I think, I think it's going to be a pretty cool knife to have on camping trips. And we'll talk about this down the road. Might try to do something a little different with that. But anyways, please hit that thumbs up, that share, that like. I already said thumbs up, so it's the same as like. Um, and um, keep subscribing. I uh, appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel of late. We'll see you on the next one. Be prepared. Mm -hmm.